Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most dishwasher repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, you should turn off the power supply to your dishwasher. To access components like the lower wash arm assembly and check valve, first remove the lower dish rack. To uninstall the lower wash arm, use a strap wrench to loosen the assembly by rotating it counterclockwise. Then fully unthread the assembly. Before you reinstall or replace the wash arm assembly, make sure the pump connector is intact. Thread the base of the assembly into the connector in a clockwise direction. Use the strap wrench to tighten. To replace the check valve, use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws, securing the rear filter assembly. Lift off the assembly and use needle nose pliers to loosen the check valve by rotating it counterclockwise. Fully unthread the valve. Install a new check valve by threading it clockwise into the base. Tighten with the pliers. Reposition the rear filter assembly and rethread the screws to secure. To replace an upper dish rack roller, carefully rotate both upper dish rack stops inward to remove them from the rails. Now remove the upper rack. Detach the rear rack stop and slide out the rail. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screw, securing the roller you're replacing. Install a new roller by aligning it on the inner wall, then thread the screw to secure. Reposition the rail and replace the rear stop. Realign the upper rack, slide it into place, and replace the front rack stops. To access components like the detergent dispenser lever and drive motor, use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the inner panel to the door frame. Remove the panel. If you need to replace the dispenser drive motor, unthread the screws securing the motor shield. Lift off the shield and detach the cam arm and spring. Use a T15 Torx bit screwdriver to unthread the dispenser drive motor mounting screws. Disconnect the wires to fully release the motor assembly. When installing a new motor, transfer the cam from the old motor to the new one.
Secure the cam with the E-clip. Connect the wires to the terminals on the motor. Align the motor on the mounting posts and thread the screws to secure. Align the spring on the post and reposition the cam arm. Replace the shield and secure it with the screws. Now realign the inner panel in the door frame and secure it with the screws. To access components like the pump and motor assembly, the drain solenoid, and the chamber hose, you will need to uninstall the dishwasher. Before you do this, be sure to shut off the water supply as well as the power. Now use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to remove the screws securing the lower access panel or panels and remove them. Use a 5 8 inch wrench to help unthread the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw securing the junction box cover, then pull the cover off. Note the location of the wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief from the junction box. Disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. For better access to components like the pump and motor assembly, carefully tip the dishwasher back so it rests on its rear panel. To remove the pump and motor, first disconnect the wire harnesses from the motor and the solenoid. Use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to loosen the clamp securing the chamber hose to the pump and pull the hose off. Do the same to remove the upper spray tube from the pump. Use the 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to remove the screw securing the support rod. Loosen the clamps to release the pump and motor assembly from the dishwasher. Reinstall or replace the assembly by inserting the inlet port into the sump as you align the outlet port with the pump connector. Tighten the clamps to secure.
Position the support rod and secure it with the screw. Attach the upper spray tube and the chamber hose to the appropriate ports on the pump and tighten the clamps. Connect the wire harnesses to the terminals on the motor and the solenoid. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Before you reinstall the dishwasher, make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wire strain relief in the junction box and secure the strain relief nut. Connect the wires using the wire nuts. Align the cover and replace the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line to the inlet valve. Reposition the lower access panel or panels and replace the screws to secure. With the appliance fully reassembled, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use.